fragrance right here right here this one it's an 80s legend Draca Noir by Guy La Roche. this right here is an aromatic fougere beast you can just smell it from the outside of the bottle man it is a combination of lots of things top middle and base it is super loaded with that said um released in 1984 um this is a classic scent of the 80s you know whenever you went to do to, into the department stores a late 80s early 90s you know you would smell this you know it was a mainstay in all of the retail stores um you know you could always grab a bottle of this this is the kind of scent your father, uncle, or your next door neighbor, you know, who knew something about uh, things like these, the greater things in life, you know, war. Um, um, the, the, the perfumer on this is Pierre Wagner. Um, it's an EDT concentration. Um, yeah, EDT. Um, and top notes here, it's lots of notes, obviously, like I just said, but you've got a lot of lemon, bergamot, mint, uh, lemon, verbena, basil at the top. Um, you've got coriander, cinnamon, carnation, angelica, jasmine in the mint. And then in the bottom, uh, in the base, you've got a lot of woods, you know, um, you know, leather, pine tree needle, sandalwood, vetiver, patchouli, cedar, amber, you know, you catch my drift. Yeah, and you know, this is it, you know, um, as soon as I recently got this, you know, as I sprayed it, it just reminded me where I've been smelling this, you know, so whenever I go to my local barber to get myself shaved and, you know, cleaned up, um, they usually finish me off with some sort of um, aftershave of Drakkar Noir or Drakkar Noir inspired. Obviously, this is a, a, a 1984 fragrance, so um, the chances are what I've just bought in 2022 may not be the exact formulation as in 1984, as it was in 1984. So there might be a bit of changes here and there, modernization in terms of the process of making the, 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 the fragrance. But in terms of um, the quality and what it is, that 80s throwback kind of vibe you get all of it in this all of it um wearability um i would you know it's 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 for the mature guy not for you know 20s teens even 30s you know this is an 80s throwback like i said 1984 um longevity on my skin six to eight hours so it's it's decent you know it's a decent it's very strong you know um i find it very strong at least on my skin so six to eight hours i can still pick it up and then you know it dies down after that so it, it is what it is it's an edt concentration but in terms of the load how loaded it is you know it, it's it's very loaded the stuff is very loaded top middle and base you know notes galore um, one of the best uh, aromatic fougiers ever in Straka Noir. Um, flankers to this, there was something released in 2014. Essence comes in a blue bottle like this. Uh, and then the latest 2022, which I can't wait to get my hands on, uh, Draka Intense. That's the 2022 remake or flanker you know of this line for of Draco Noir by Guy Roche and yeah um pricing very very cheap this is date cheap um you know it's one of those fragrances that I just threw in my into my cart while I was buying other things um so look for the links in the description to see where you can get yourself a bottle of this um you know I've got by itself a 30 mils there's a 50 and 100 mils I think or even bigger so in terms of recommendation for me this comes highly recommended from my side you know if you like 80s kind of scents um this is it you know it's a nice throwback type of scent that you know will just bring up memories when you smell it so highly recommended from my end uh drakkar noir by Guy La Roche. um you know go out and get it and yeah that's it for this review um 
till the next episode of the my fragrance journey channel essay um please subscribe and like the video till next time peace